SpaceX is staffed by young and tech-savvy engineers. Their boss, Elon Musk, has already shaken up two established industries with PayPal and Tesla Motors. Now he has his sights set on space and Mars. The reason for SpaceX is to try to advance the state of rocketry, to improve space transportation to the point where ultimately people can travel to Mars and where we can establish a self-sustaining civilization on Mars. SpaceX is at the vanguard of a new age of space exploration. We will work with a growing array of private companies competing to make getting to space easier and more affordable. It has already won a contract from the U.S. government to supply the space station, slicing costs in half over other rockets. But Elon and his engineers aren't stopping there. They believe reusable rockets will completely transform human access to space. You can imagine an aircraft were not reusable and you had to buy a new aircraft with every trip, it would be prohibitively expensive to fly. I don't think any Mars base could be established without solving the reusability problem for rockets. SpaceX's reusable rocket play would slash those costs and bring Mars within reach at long last. If you imagine that huge rocket stack and at the very top is the capsule that either has people in it or some kind of payload or satellite. Now, the only thing that actually goes to space and continues to be used is that tiny bit at the top. What happens to the rest of the rocket? Well, it simply burns up in the atmosphere. Um, and that's really what we're trying to change, is instead of burning up in the atmosphere, we want to reuse and refly that entire rocket. A reusable heavy lift rocket could send a spacecraft filled with astronauts to a parking orbit around Earth, and then return for a second trip, delivering a tanker filled with enough fuel to blast them from Earth to Mars. SpaceX sees reusable rockets as not just making a single manned mission to Mars affordable, they will spur a wholesale colonization of the Red Planet. The idea is that to get to Mars, you have a very small window of time when the planets align to make it most efficient to get there. So if you want to colonize Mars, you need to be sending as quickly as possible, as many people as possible, and you have to be able to refly within hours rather than years. If we can get the cost of moving to Mars to be under half a million dollars, and hopefully eventually a lot under a half a million dollars, then I think enough people would be prepared to sell all their stuff on Earth and move to Mars.